What is up guys, Mike Wang here. I was working on a video for Meta, uh, formerly known as Facebook, but the cryptocurrency market has been insane recently, and I felt like I needed to give my followers a quick update. Now, before you talk about how I said up only and that we'd reach 200K without any meaningful corrections, yada, 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 hear me out. I've been spending a lot of time on making newsletters as opposed to YouTube videos, so I wasn't able to update everyone on the entire situation. But if you were part of the community that I run on Telegram, which you can join for free just by filling a form on my website, uh, link in the description below, you would have gotten a heads up. So on November 9th, uh, 16th, actually, I shared a chart of Ethereum on the daily when it was trading at $4,500. And I said that it was looking a little wobbly because it broke down from the uptrend that I was looking at. And someone else asked, what I thought of Bitcoin, and I said the overall structure looked bullish, but the short-term downside was likely. And this is exactly what I'm going to talk about in today's video as well. But just before we begin, make sure to check out my website, link in the description below, and join my community. It's literally free, and I don't really get anything out of this besides the fact that it's convenient for me to share my views on the market in real time. And all you need to do is just fill out this small form. Now, I could have just put a link to the community directly, but the reason I make you fill this out is because I want you to put the bare minimum effort so that I can filter out the people who aren't serious and dedicated towards making money. Anyway, enough of that. Let's move on to the charts and what I am seeing in particular for the cryptocurrency market. We'll start by looking at Bitcoin's weekly chart. Um, you can see that overall, the macro bullish structure isn't broken and we're still creating higher lows and higher highs, as you can see by the price action within this channel over here. People have been talking about 53K as support and um, as the point where the correction is going to end. And I do think that is a probable case as well, but we would need bearish confirmation before we could clearly say that 53K is in the picture. That means that we would need to see Bitcoin get rejected at a critical point before we can confirm that there's a high probability of it testing 53K. And which critical point I'm talking about, I'll elaborate in the later part of the video when we go over the daily chart. But even if we do reach 53K, that wouldn't break the overall bullish structure, as you can see here, as it would be creating another higher low. But I would be concerned if that was the case, because remember what I said about closing above 65K serving as a confirmation sign for further uptrend um, over here. And we actually did close above 65K and we even tested 69K, but we dropped back down to 58K regions, 57K and even 56K according to the price action uh, yesterday. So the question is, if the overall structure is bullish, why would we see Bitcoin retest 53K after peaking at 69K and closing above 65K? And those are the questions that you need to ask yourself as well. So if we zoom into Bitcoin's daily chart, again, this is the chart that I have been referring to for a while. And we can see that it looks it actually looks pretty ugly. I'll, I'll admit it's it's not the best looking chart for now. And as for the top signal, we can see that there was a clear bearish divergence that was confirmed with the price forming higher highs and the RSI forming lower highs. So um, that was the sign for you guys to uh, manage your risk over there. And we can see that a huge bearish candle formed as soon as we broke down the 63.6K region over here. Uh, this is the candle that signaled the drop uh, so to speak. And from the local top to bottom, we actually retraced about 20% over the past few uh, past two weeks. And from a macro perspective, like I said, on the weekly, we're forming higher lows and higher highs. But if we zoom in on the daily over here, looking at the micro trend, we're actually in a clear downtrend forming lower highs right? So comparing this high to this high, this is a lower high and lower lows over here, as we can see. So we recently just formed a new lower low over here. And this is the question that needs to be answered. Will we be seeing a lower high 
before breaking down to 53k levels, which everyone is talking about, by the way, or was this a point of reversal and can we see Bitcoin break up again through the resistance and resume to an uptrend? In order to answer these questions, these are the two key lines of resistance we need to keep an eye on. 63.6K and 61K. So here's how it's going to go. I think there is a high likelihood of us bouncing to retest the resistance at 61K. If we fail to break and close above this resistance, we would probably get rejected at these levels and the chances of us tapping 53K become much higher. If we break and close above uh, 61K, that means that in order for us to resume to the overall uptrend, we need to break and close above 63.6k as well before we can think of anything else now why did i choose these numbers in particular and that that might be the question you guys have because eventually it all boils down to okay how can i trade like mike what is he seeing in the market that i don't see and how can i learn from his perspective right so the reasons i chose these two lines is because 63.6k acted as strong support as you can see so uh in late october um, this was actually tested once twice uh before we broke out of this range so i knew that this acted as strong resistance here and it was strong support in these uh uh this time period as well during early november before we saw it break down significantly, um, leading to a huge sell-off. So I knew that 63.6K would be an important region. As for 61K, this was also support that was tested multiple times earlier this month. And, and what's also important is that we can see how there was an attempt to break through this resistance twice a few days ago, and yet we failed to do so. So... Um, this is going to be our third time retesting this resistance. And the question is going to be whether we'll, able, whether we'll manage to break and close above it or whether we'll see a third rejection. So, guys, I can't emphasize this enough, but don't try to predict the market. If you've been paying attention to my approach, you'll notice that I didn't say anything along the lines of, oh, I predict that we'll get rejected at 61K or I predict that we'll break through 61K and retest 63.6K. It's about trading based on confirmation and taking an approach based on probabilities. So instead of making predictions, you say, if we break and close above 61K, then we can retest 63.6K. If we fail to break and close above 61K, the probability of us testing 53K as a lower low becomes much higher. So that's the sort of thought process and approach that you want to take. Now, if we take a look at Ethereum's weekly chart, we can see that the entire structure is still very, very bullish. The retest on this on from the weekly perspective is almost perfect, right? So we see this line of resistance over here, or actually support, uh, that acted as resistance a few weeks back, um, and we managed to break out of that range. And up uh, this entire correction, while it may seem drastic on the daily, from a weekly perspective, it's merely a pullback to retest support before we can move on to new highs, or at least that's what it looks like for now. Um, it's going to look a lot different if we break down this level, um, but that's how I see it uh, fit for the overall macro trend for now. On the daily, we're taking the same approach as Bitcoin for Ethereum's chart as well. So as you can see, this is the chart that I shared in the uh, Telegram chat, the community that I run, the Insiders. And I've uh, marked some significant support and resistance levels for us to reference. And we're going to take the same approach as Bitcoin saying, if we break and close above a certain level, then we're going to see a move up to XYZ, right? This is a Fibonacci retracement that I drew um, from this swing low to this swing high. We can see that the 0 0.382 uh, support was at around 4K. So 
from this point down to here, we've retraced a little over 38.2%. And now, as you can see, we saw this bullish engulfing candle and we're bouncing back up with a lot of momentum. And if we can close above $4,560, which is the key resistance that I have my eyes on, and also the line at which the sell-off took place, then we could expect Ethereum to resume to the uptrend and continue to make new all-time highs. Now, if we get rejected at these levels, instead of breaking out like that, if we get rejected, then that would mean that we would probably move down to the 0.618 Fibonacci uh, support. But before we move on to the 0.618, there are two other key lines of support that I have my eyes on, which are the 3,850 and the 3,640 regions. And probabilistically speaking, we'll see a small bounce over here and we'll probably bottom out here before we can get to the 0.618 support. But that would be the case. This would be the trajectory, the more probable trajectory if we were to get rejected at the $4,560 range. So again, we're taking the same approach uh, to Ethereum as we did with Bitcoin. Now, there are some altcoins that I think are really, really juicy right now that look really nice. Um, AVAX, for instance, Avalanche, this, I, if you check my Twitter, I actually entered a position on this at around 42 or $46. And um, I basically managed to double the capital that I invested here. I cashed out um, so I could eye opportunities for other altcoins, but I think there is still a huge upside for this as well. Um, as for Engine and Luna, but I'll get into the specific analysis of these altcoins in my newsletter. So if you guys want to check that out, make sure to subscribe to my newsletter as well. You can find the link to that on my website. It's only $25 a month and you get insane amounts of alpha that can help you beat the market. So that is it for today, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you stuck around until the end of this video, make sure to smash the like button, subscribe for more quality content like these, and I'll see you guys in the next video.